Hi Capricorn, welcome back. So Capricorn, this is going to be your reading and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. As soon as I sat into your meditation, I got a song. I think it's, I think the artist's name is Kaleo. I could be wrong. Um, it's been a long time since I've heard this song, but the lyric is way down we go. Way down we go. Oh, oh, oh. Um... That's the only lyric that came through. And as soon as I sat in meditation, I literally actually said it out loud while I was meditating. That's how loud it was. So maybe look up that artist. Um, I, I think that that's the name of the song, Down We Go, but it may not be. That doesn't sound right. If you know it, put it in the chat or in the comments for me, please. Um, <clears throat> so uh, check that lyrics out to that song, okay? You might be hearing that song. It could have significant meaning to you. Um, but the other thing that I got in the meditation was I felt my energy totally shift um, into this more, <clears throat> sorry, my throat's bothering me now. It was like coming to some sort of realization, okay? So, and, and it seems like um, whatever the realization is that you're coming to during this time frame, Capricorn, it totally changes your perception okay because i literally felt the energy shift in my body um so there is an important realization that's coming in and they're not really giving me details around what it's about but maybe we'll get it out in the cards um but certainly it's a general reading so it'd be different for all of you but that's what i was seeing uh and feeling for you when i sat in the collective meditation so Let's go ahead and get the cards out and get into it, shall we? Woo, that's too many cards. We just need one. <clears throat> so you have the sixth house of the craft here, um, which is Virgo energy. Some of you could have Virgo energy in your birth chart or Pisces and or maybe dealing with that sign or it's just the influencing vibes because this energy is talking about Pay attention to details, okay? Um, this could be around work, but it doesn't have to be. It's just giving more focused attention to things like your physical well-being, your surroundings, your diet, um, your daily rituals, okay? Uh, some of you might be interested in learning some new things during this time frame, okay? A new skill set or growing in your current skill set, um, if you've been giving a lot of focus to things that aren't necessarily stimulating your brain, they're really wanting you to use your time and energy more wisely, Capricorn, towards things that do stimulate you or that you're genuinely interested in, um, as that will help to contribute to your growth when it comes to um, things like work and finance, etc. All of a sudden, my voice is going all crazy. It's weird. Um, some of you might <clears throat> have some throat blockages. Hold on a second. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now maybe you need to speak up and communicate something, all right? Or maybe someone you're dealing with does, but my throat chakra is bothering me all of a sudden, which means to me, usually when my throat chakra is bothering me, it's when I'm suppressing something um, that maybe needs to be said or that I would really like to express so be careful with that um they're giving me a song express yourself do not suppress yourself i think that's madonna um yeah i don't feel like capricorns in general you're afraid to express yourself at all but you certainly can hold back when you feel that you need to some of you may be holding yourself back because Maybe you don't want to um, upset the apple cart is the, is the words that they're giving me. Or maybe this is in like literally the workplace where you have to deal with other people or in a situation where you just don't want to make it uncomfortable if it doesn't have to be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. In that respect, I, I understand. Okay. <laughs> so you have the six of cups here. This is talking about the past, um, 
resurfacing. You also have two sixes. The number six might be significant to you um, in numerology. Maybe look up what the meaning of sixes are. But uh, whatever this is, it's like letting go of old patterns of behaviors as well. Some of you have some developed like daily rituals that you might be refining during this time frame or wanting to improve upon. Um, there's a caution here about bringing past issues back up and maybe you are best to, I, I never want to tell someone to suppress anything, but maybe you're best to give attention more towards your future and things that stimulate you than emotional junk from the past. Okay. Um, let's see. So we're going to go into the headspace now, Capricorn, and see what's going on there. And then we're going to go into the emotional space and then the big spiritual picture. So you have the Knight of Swords, Justice, Seven of Wands. Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles flipped as well. So there is this message here, Capricorn. <laughs> as I said, I have a block. I feel like my throat chakra is blocked. I have the Knight of Swords here. Now, the interesting thing about this deck, Capricorn, is the Knight of Swords is someone who's avoiding communication. Um, where in traditional decks, it's someone who is in a rush to communicate. So... <clears throat> I guess it could be either or, but I would say do not rush or force communication, all right, especially not during this time frame. But some of you, it's like you're avoiding saying something again because I feel like you're trying to keep the peace within yourself, but also the peace within your life. It's, it's a sense of like trying to put yourself in this bubble of just focusing on you, staying in your own lane, and this is actually working for you, okay, so... There is some developments coming in uh, that are going to make you feel good about the decisions that you've made. So I can see that some of you have still been back and forth about if you're doing the right thing. And um, maybe should you have said something or should you not have said something. And uh, it's kind of like the more you can go within Capricorn and just know that there's really no right or wrong, right? There just is what is. But also, sometimes it is nice to just keep things to yourself and to process things internally. Not every thought that we have needs to be discussed. And so there's something here about... <clears throat> Allowing yourself to mull over something internally, you know, and, and speak to your higher self, speak to your guides. We all have guides. We all have a higher self. And if you sit in silence or during a meditation, you can have that dialogue, have that conversation, okay, without actually physically expressing. Um, some of you might really benefit from uh, a cleansing ritual, okay, Capricorn, of uh, just, you know, hydrating your body and sitting in a meditation 15 minutes every morning, at least for this time period, will really help to pull in a deeper sense of self-love, okay, and it will also eliminate this back and forth that you have going on in the headspace. So let's see what's going on emotionally. Don't mind if you can hear my stomach rumbling. I promise it's just my stomach. <laughs> I'm like really super hungry right now. <laughs> um, that's a weird song. I don't even know what song that is. I heard Ooga Chaka, Ooga Chaka. It's the beginning of a song. <laughs> But I don't know what song that is. Maybe it'll come back up. All right. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, Eight of Wands, the Moon, the Four of Swords. <clears throat> so emotionally, there is this strong desire for more passion here in your life. Okay. There is also, there's something here that may really spark your interest. And really, Capricorn, you're being led to follow your heart's desire. When it comes to 
things that are inspiring to you. So picking up a really good book or listening to a uh, podcast that stimulate your brain, um, you know, maybe even learning something new about yourself, whatever it is that intrigues you, they're really wanting you to go towards that. Okay. Um, it's like, this is actually helping you to move forward in all areas of your life by giving focus to the things that create this aliveness in you that creates this passion in you. Um, because I do sense that sometimes you're allowing yourself to get a little too emotionally overwhelmed and it may be also affecting your sleep patterns. Um, you might be having a lot of vivid dreams during this time frame. If so, pay attention to those dreams, write them down. I journal my dreams. Um, I find it very useful as a lot of the times our dreams will point to maybe some areas of self that we still have to work on or that we might be suppressing, you know, in our wake state, in the 3D state. So definitely pay attention to that. But <laughs> I heard your wishes have been heard. So it's a sense of almost getting some sort of reassurance here from spirit that you've been heard and that you can rest easy and give your focus to the things that make you happy and create passion in your life in the meantime. Um, try to drown out the things that create this sense of emotional overwhelmment, okay? And this could be past issues that you're needing to let go. And then let me go into the big spiritual picture here. Let's see. You've got the King of Swords and the High Priestess. Six of Pentacles and the Sun. So you, okay. I get this song all of the time in readings, but they're giving it to me again. Here comes the sun, sweet darling. Here comes the sun, it's all right. Uh, that's a great song. Uh, so just more reassurance coming through from, from spirit that is that it's all right. Um, and then that's leading into another song. All right now, baby, it's all right now. Okay, don't mind my terrible singing, okay? <laughs> I'm getting like, this is like classic rock songs. I don't know if any of you listen to classic rock or maybe I have some fans of classic rock in here. I don't know. <laughs> this is the genre of music I'm getting right now. Um, you don't have to connect with that genre of music. I When I get songs, it's more so to point me in the direction of where the reading is headed, but... Um, Maybe those songs resonate with you, okay? So in the big picture, in the big scheme of things, Capricorn, you are learning so much about yourself. And I get this feeling that you are feeling more and more and more intuitively drawn towards your passions. And this is going to uh, pay out for you or work out for you. It's a sense of feeling connected again. Um, you know, and I've seen this come through for a lot of the collective energy, the sense of Sagittarius season kind of speeding things up and us feeling, uh, this upliftment in the energy. Okay. And then after Sagittarius season, of course, comes Capricorn season, but it's, it's like, there's reasons to be happy here. All right. Um, things seem to be coming in at a faster rate without as much of a struggle. So enjoy this energy as it comes through, okay? And some of you might literally be getting like financial payouts or improvements in your health or improvements in your financial sector, okay? Um, I feel this is more geared towards those arenas of your life than towards uh, relationships because I think Spirit's really wanting you to focus on loving yourself and being in a relationship with yourself, even if you're connected to someone else, uh, that being vitally important at this time frame, at, during this time, it's like this realignment of you. Mm -hmm. 
coming through in the energy. So it's it's freaking beautiful. Like this 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 reading is one of my favorites. Leo's reading was also really beautiful, and this reading kind of reminds me of that. I do have Leo energy here, so you could be um, have that in your chart or dealing with a Leo. And if so, check that reading out. But it's like there's really not negative cards out at all, except this weird throat chakra thing, which <clears throat> I feel like just give yourself permission to be silent. It's okay to be silent, you know. Um, and instead of feeling like you need to speak something, um, out into existence, instead have that internal dialogue, run, run the conversation through your mind, speak to your higher self. I love speaking to my higher self <laughs> and, um, I have a few placements of Capricorn in my chart as well. But nothing feels better to me than to sit in a meditation and clear my mind and be able to hear clearly the answers that I'm looking for. Um, and all you have to do is, I don't want to say silence your mind because that's an impossibility, but to quiet the noise by giving focus to uh, background sound, gray noise, HZ frequencies, however you get into a deep meditation. But I feel like your guides want to speak to you. Um, there is knowledge that they want to impart to you, Capricorn, and not through me, not through tarot, directly to you. Like you have a direct line to spirit. Um, so use it, you know. Uh, try the meditation hydration um, practice that I gave earlier and that will help solidify the connection even more okay so oops, let's see what the Osho Zen has to say then silence I'm sitting here talking about silence 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 and I get the card of silence <laughs> silence is your friend okay this is talking about silencing exactly what I was just saying silence silent quieting your mind let me just say that <laughs> and then the card of innocence which is seeing the good and the innocence of self and in this world and in others and um just finding some peace within okay and if you've had a lot of erratic emotion going on then i think it's okay to for a moment just kind of detach yourself a little bit from that all right and let's see what the guidance card is then. Oh my gosh, as I was talking about vivid dreaming, you got the dream talk card and reach out. So this says dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. When we go into a dream state, um, we, we completely go into another realm. Um, our consciousness does not sleep. Okay, Our body, uh, our physical body needs that rest. But our consciousness, which is who we really are, is always active. And so when, when you fall asleep in the 3D, your consciousness is very much active in the 5D. So pay attention to that. Um, and then you have the card of reach out. It says, we know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help we're offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that it's truly okay to accept support, however it's presented to you. So if you've been wanting to feel more support in your life, your higher guidance always wants to give it to you. But this could be what the throat blockage is about as well, not wanting to ask for help, Capricorn, and um, giving yourself permission to ask for help if you need it, okay? So going to leave it there and zodiac signs you could have in your birth chart or might be dealing with i've got virgo pisces libra leo those are the predominant zodiac signs i'm seeing but it's a general reading that could be in your chart that could be in the chart of the person you are person or people you're connecting with take what resonates leave what doesn't if it did resonate 
let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do go live there as well. Tarot Time with Dana, all of it linked down below and in the About section where you can find the donation link. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so there. Either way, I'm wishing you the very best Capricorn. And until next time, my friends, namaste.